a man who was asked to be the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, a football recruit who was ranked higher than Tim Tebow and Matthew Stafford, a doctor with a dream to become a neurosurgeon. Now, what if I told you this was all one person? Myron Roll was an NFL safety who went from being the last line of defense on the field to leading the last line of defense in American hospitals during the coronavirus pandemic. This is a Clutch Points original documentary on the man who gave up the NFL to help others and despite never playing it down in the pros, should absolutely be a household name. Roll was going to be the next Ed Reed or Troy Palomalo. Out of college, Roll was one of the best safeties in the nation and projected to be a first-round pick. But he may be the only man in history to willingly give that up. It might sound foolish, but Myron Roll is anything but. He hit the pinnacle of athletics and academics, making it to the NFL and being named a Rhodes Scholar, something only two other men in history have done. He's been dubbed the future of black America by a Princeton professor. And instead of fighting off wide receivers every Sunday, he decided to fight off a virus that is taking hundreds of thousands of lives. In 2006, as he was coming out of high school, ESPN ranked Roll as the number one football recruit in the nation over a future Heisman winner Tim Tebow and over a future NFL star Matthew Stafford. Roll chose to attend Florida State because of its football team and its ability to further his other dream to become a neurosurgeon. Focusing on both academics and athletics, Roll was an All-American in 2008 while graduating in just two and a half years with a 3.75 GPA. A Florida State assistant coach even criticized him for studying too much and not focusing on football. Roll was proof that you can do both. One expert even placed him as high as the 18th pick in the first round. But it was here that Roll applied to be a Rhodes Scholar, one of the most prestigious academic honors in the nation. The Rhodes Scholarship is given to only 32 men and women across America who go on to Oxford to earn an advanced degree. For his academics and charity work, Roll was chosen for the high honor of being a Rhodes Scholar. With it became a critical life decision. Being a first round pick would fulfill his dream of being an NFL player, but earning a master's at Oxford would further his dream of being a doctor. One of them was an opportunity he just couldn't pass up. He decided to put off the start of his NFL career and instead took the scholarship and headed across the Atlantic. Needless to say, a lot of people doubted his choice. Is he nuts? He's giving away a couple of million dollars, the critics pointed out. But Roll wasn't concerned about the paycheck. He believed a degree in medical anthropology would help him become a better doctor one day. And that's where he could ultimately help the most people. Football could wait. A year later, after getting his master's, Roll returned to the States and pursued his second dream. But teams were concerned about his commitment to the sport. Surely a guy who chose Oxford over being a first-round pick doesn't value football very highly. Roll slipped all the way to the sixth round, where the Tennessee Titans took him, fulfilling yet another dream. But his career on the gridiron was brief. He was only in the league for two seasons, and he never played it down. He was also disturbed by the individualism in the NFL. A lot of players just played for themselves and ignored the good of the team, a concept that was foreign to Roll. After the brief stint, he decided to go all in on his other passion. Determined to be a doctor, Roll attended Florida State's medical school. His dream to be a neurosurgeon, though, is just a branch of a deeper desire in Roll's heart. In 2009, even before he was drafted, he founded the Myron Roll Foundation to fight the healthcare inequality in the world. With his foundation, he's taken action to help undeserved communities wherever he can find them. He's led a leadership and wellness camp for foster children every year. He's run a program that promotes obesity and diabetes awareness among Native American children. He's gone to Africa with President Clinton to help displaced refugees. His end goal is to open free healthcare clinics on an island in the Bahamas where his family is from. He was so impressive, politicians he met in the Bahamas claimed he should come back permanently to be president or even prime minister. In 2020, Roll was already a third-year neurosurgery resident at Massachusetts General Hospital. But instead of helping others through brain and spinal surgeries, he's had to adapt. Because of the pandemic, the hospitals were overrun with coronavirus patients. Roll switched gears. While it's a stressful atmosphere, he believes that his background in sports is actually helping him in his new role caring for COVID patients. 
Just like in football, if you're called to do something different than you weren't expecting, you adjust, Roll said in an interview with the Tennessean. They're showing us a new formation that we didn't see on tape. You've got to hunker down and get the job done. In my opinion, this novel disease is something like that. We have to meet the challenge. Myron Roll could have been a top NFL safety if he had chosen athletics above all else. Instead, armed with his heart, his Christian faith, and his top-notch brain, he chose to help others any way he could. At the end of the day, the world doesn't need more football players, but it does need someone to stand for those who can't stand for themselves. Someone to tackle injustices against the underprivileged. Someone to be on the front lines caring for the sick and dying. It's almost fitting that Myron Roll played football as a safety. The position is the last line of defense. DBs trust that the safety is back there to cover a receiver. Instead of protecting the end zone, Roll is protecting the world from a pandemic and of a larger fight against the problem of healthcare inequality. We can trust that Myron Roll is back there, and once again, he's got things covered.